good old Jacksonville. Y'all did not disappoint. Thank y'all so much. Two sold out shows in J-Town right here. So beautiful. Your weather showed out. Y'all don't know. If you don't travel, you don't know. This Jacksonville sun. <laughs> this is its own sun. It don't follow no sun rules. You come to Jacksonville, you used to heat. You look at the heat, you don't even be scared. You be like, what, 89? Ain't nobody give a fuck about no 89. <laughs> you mean Jacksonville 89. That slave heat. You be like, god damn, I wouldn't have been able to run away today at all. They would have to beat the shit out of me today. <laughs> Love Jacksonville. Y'all got everything. Even your shit that ain't the top is still the top. The Jacksonville Jaguars is doing they shit. That's right. Fuck all them stats. Fuck all them stats and accolades. Jacksonville Jaguars know two things for a fact. They know they weather is better than yours. And they know their uniforms look better than yours. <laughs> them niggas be modeling on the sidelines. <laughs> Love it here. You come to Jacksonville, you ain't ready for it. I don't care where you from, you not ready for this. If you love water, you could overdose in this motherfucker. They, Jacksonville got water, 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 and water. They got a creek, lakes, rivers. The river go the wrong way. It... <laughs> if you not from here, you not... You gotta be specific when you talk to your Uber driver. You can't say nothing like... I'm by the bridge. <laughs> There's 1,700 bridges in this bitch. You mean the black bridge, the yellow bridge, the blue bridge, that's part transformer that go up and down. They don't tell you that till you high on the balcony. What the fuck? I think I saw the bridge move. <laughs> Beautiful shit. Come to Jacksonville, the military's in the house. Where the military at? Make some noise for the military. Yeah. You in the right parts of Jacksonville, you can feel safe. But they need to tell people that ain't from here that it might be military helicopters flying past your balcony, or it'll fuck up your whole blunt experience. You... I'm not speaking from knowledge. I'm just saying if you was to be standing out there with a blunt C2 military helicopters, that's the first time you swallow your whole blunt, lit and all. You, mm, mm, mm. that was a real military. Where the fuck is where? You come to Jacksonville, you gonna see shit you don't see nowhere else. Generally, you can just go somewhere, look on the map, and pick places out. Not, mm -mm. You need a tour guide in Jacksonville from Jacksonville to tell you where you can and cannot go. You don't just want to be driving around, looking around. You'll see some shit that'll scare the shit out of you as a nigga. You, Confederate Park, what? What the fuck am I doing about Confederate Park? Most cities got one hood. See how the audience laughed at that? <laughs> Most motherfuckers in here got one hood. The whole map is free. They tell you, don't go here. Not in Jacksonville. They got spots all around the map you should look out for. Yeah. All the hoods sound like Dangerous sitcoms. <laughs> Tonight on another episode of Washington Heights. <laughs> Something going down on Washington Heights. I'm pretty sure of that. If I know any of the hoods in America, I know. Stay tuned.
for another edition of Cleveland Arms. It's got arms in the title. I know that's dangerous. Huh? Eureka Gardens. Eureka means surprise. Maybe you shouldn't be here. You looking for gardens. Jacksonville do it big. It ain't just hoods. They got certain streets. If you even type it in your phone, your phone will not let you make it there. If you type in Moncrief, your phone say relocating. What? Just beautiful shit. Shit you only gonna have here in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is the biggest motherfucking city out there. Every 10 blocks is another motherfucking neighborhood. <laughs> if you're comfortable, don't be comfortable too long. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Most places you go, when you go to the gas station, the only thing you gotta look at is the price of the gas. Not in Jacksonville. You got to look at some other shit than the price of gas. You had to look at all the surroundings of the gas station. You ever decided you didn't need gas as bad as you thought you did? You, you ever got back in your car to not get the gas? I, I don't need this gas. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. If I can make it almost home, if I just keep on going, I can get a little closer to somewhere where... There's 32 motherfuckers out there, eh? Selling pit bull puppies and frying fish. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna do all that for some gas. I'm not. Love Jacksonville. Jacksonville, they got shit at all ends. If you want to shop, they got great shopping. They got great shopping, and then they got hood shopping. <laughs> if you looking for the great shopping, you listen for the white sounding official name. Town Center. <laughs> that sounds official, Town Center. We built this mall, then we built the rest of the town. <laughs> the black mall sounds like a club. Going down to the Regency. <laughs> they got two for one drink special at the Regency. Who don't want to go to the Regency? Three before 11. One thing I like about Jacksonville is no matter where the fuck you eat, all the food is good than a motherfucker. Y'all know how to eat in Jacksonville. Everything. We had 12 things. Everything was good. Go to Jacksonville Beach, they got white people making Caribbean food and shit. You're like, y'all ain't got no Jamaicans back there? Who the fuck is jerking this chicken? Let me find out a white woman is jerking this chicken like that. That is... Most places you go, if you hear a crazy name, you can't eat there. But here in motherfucking Jacksonville, they tell you it's good. It's good. That motherfucking Soul Food Bistro. I don't even know if them niggas know what bistro mean, but it's good as shit. Food so good, you be looking for a slave in the back. Like, who the fuck is making? Mm -mm, show me somebody look like a slave back there. Who the fuck's putting their foot in this cornbread? This the real reason we love coming here is because when we come here, we get a real taste of what the fuck America is. We get everybody in the same building at the same time, at the same place, in Jacksonville, at the beautiful Florida Theater. Y'all ain't gonna believe who we got in here. Watch this. Where's all the Hispanic people in the building? Make some noise. Hispanic people is all in here. Mi familia. Thank y'all for hanging out. Where's the Filipinos in the building? Make some noise. Filipinos, thank all 80 y'all for spreading out around. Y'all didn't even sit together. That was good as Filipinos. Y'all spread out. Where's all the white people in the building? Make some noise. White people. Look at the white people sounding strong. Y'all still hanging with minorities in this administration. We really appreciate that, white people.
We know some of y'all had to sneak here on the Mayport Ferry. <laughs> Black people, is y'all in the building this evening? Make some noise. We can all feel safe tonight. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got young people in the house. Where's everybody 25 and under make some noise? Young people, where y'all at? Thank y'all so much for coming. We appreciate that, young people. Where's all the rest of us? Where's 25 and older make some noise? Where Okay, y'all grown in the motherfucker. I get it. I get it. Y'all grown. If we could tell you young people anything, we would tell you enjoy your motherfucking youth while you got it. Whatever the fuck you trying to do in your dreams and shit, do it right the fuck now. While your body is still with you. Because the rest of us would tell you this getting old shit is for the birds. That shit do not let off. Once it's on your ass, that's it. Your ass finna get old right now. It's fucked up. Fucked up. We didn't know it was gonna be like this. I used to laugh like shit at my grandfather making all that noise, getting out to bed. He, uh, 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 uh. I'm over there judging this shit. Look at this lazy ass nigga. He know ain't nothing wrong with him at 6.30 in the goddamn morning. Now we're getting older, we see. This shit is for the birds. Your mind is still young, but your body has checked the fuck out. You ever told yourself to get out of bed and yourself didn't listen? You was like, it's time to go on and get out to bed now. I'm gonna go on and get out to bed now. I'm gonna lay here 10 more minutes and get my shit together, 10 more minutes. Your body has given the fuck up. You start getting older, you gotta change shit. I used to be able to watch TV all night long. Not no more. Now I gotta take my stupid ass to sleep. Cause these motherfucking commercials is too scary and too not specific. You scared and don't even know what the fuck you scared of. I know I'm not the only person in here who think he might, maybe, could possibly have mesothelioma. <laughs> Don't none of us know what the fuck it is. They just keep scaring us with it. You might have it, you might have it. It's worth some money. Every time I cough, I think I done caught it. <laughs> now I fucked around and caught mesothelioma. No, I drank that miso soup that one time. I think that's where it come from, I'm not sure. It's fucked up. You start getting older, shit change. You gotta deal with it. When you young, the only way you can hurt yourself is if you in an accident. You start getting older, you can fuck yourself up. Not doing a goddamn thing. You young, you had to hurt yourself to be in accident. You get older, you see your friend, he got a cast on all his ribs and shit. You, God damn, nigga, did you get in a car accident? Nah, I fucked around and yawned too fast and caught. <laughs> I caught my body off guard. I wasn't stretching or nothing like that like I should. I just out of nowhere yawned, <laughs> ripped all of that up right there. there. Fucked up. So what start happening when you start getting older? You start getting older, shit that wasn't a problem is a problem. When you was younger, if you was five pounds overweight, all you needed to do was take one good shit. <laughs> you was back at your original weight. I knew I ate a little bit too much two days ago. I knew that. You start getting older, 
If you let 10 pounds get on you, that bitch is there to stay. You be like, when the fuck is this leaving? It ain't never leaving. You gonna have to keep on working. I saw some shit that fucked me up, though. Sometimes you got so many channels, you be tip going through and you just stop on something to see what it is, and it's running on a marathon, and before you know it, you done watched 88 episodes. <laughs> this show fucked me up. They got a show called My 600 Pound... You as younger, if you watch something fucked up, you just had nightmares. This is worse. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Not 600 pounds, just legs everywhere, bumps on them and shit. Ah, oh. oh, and this motherfucker don't do nothing but talk shit and eat. Where's my breakfast? <laughs> he is pimping this bitch. She frying eggs and I'm coming. She like the drug dealer. Every time they talk to her, they go, shit, I don't know how he getting this big. Yes, you do, bitch. This motherfucker can't even get out of bed, you ass, making him 12 square meals a day. What the fuck? Watching that shit, I can't even eat in the bed no more. It's fucked up. You start getting older, shit changes. When you younger, you don't go to the hospital for nothing. Whatever it is, it's gonna heal itself. You start getting older, you know Jesus is at the hospital. You need to check in with Jesus. <laughs> Catch him on the main line ID. I think it's got something in it. You're gonna love it. It's gone. It's fucked up. My last young day was last Christmas. <laughs> Played basketball in somebody's backyard, got fouled, ran into a wall, damn near killed myself. <laughs> and I thought I had saved myself because I saved my face with my arm. I saved my face with my arm. But when my arm hit the ground, that bitch sound like Transformers. It said, <laughs> My brain said, Get the fuck up off the ground, nigga. My arm said, If you get us up off the ground, you gonna have to put us in your pocket, nigga, because we are done. I got right up off the ground and went right to the hospital. Now, white people, I know that don't sound amazing. If you get hurt, you supposed to go to the hospital, but as a nigga, if you get up off the ground and go directly to the hospital, that means you thought you was finna die that day. <laughs> I was in the hospital looking at the doctor in the eye. I was holding my arm like a baby. I said, I don't know what you finna do. <laughs> but every time I blink, it feels like somebody is tearing my arm out the socket. He said, don't worry, I'm gonna put you on some medication. I said, wait a minute, with all due respect, I've been smoking the best weed in the country and medication <laughs> It's not gonna get it. He said, you do your job, let me do my job. He wrote me out two prescriptions. One for Tramadol and one for Percocet. <laughs> I know, know if y'all done had them separately, but if you take them bitches together, it'll make you a superhero in this bitch. You walking around looking for small crimes. Saying shit no nigga has ever said before. Shoot me right in the chest. Shoot me right in the chest. I ain't even gonna feel it. I can't feel shit. But you have to be careful. Your doctors give you all that strong ass motherfucking medication. They don't tell you what the fuck it's gonna do when they all get together. You don't believe that? Ask Tiger Woods. Tiger was in the police department looking like a baby giraffe and shit. This is... 